His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater. Oh, back to reality. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Dre Dave. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to take the basement objective here on Hereford Bay. So we have fermentation chamber and brewery room. So with this, I think fermentation chamber is definitely the harder site to push. The walls are made out of stone and the ceiling's made out of concrete. So it's gonna be really hard to crack. But with the brewery, the wall is soft or ceilings are soft for the most part. And a lot of the walls are soft as well so we're gonna be pushing brewery and the best plants you can get probably right here behind this tank and behind this little concrete wall right here probably the best plants you can get they do have this hatch right here honestly I don't see people reinforce this at all all the games I play on here for base I don't think anyone's reinforced that hatch you know it's pretty key so with this we have this little back hallway um, this is something they can have a single person flank Come on, let me through. So this is not a full-on five-man rush. It's just a, a single flank right there. So that's a little tunnel that you can use. But the main push is going to be coming from the northeast over here in barrel storage. So we have workshop right here, a little small room that you might have one defender lurk in. Another little tunnel over here. But from the main push, is going to come over from courtyard spawn northeast. You're gonna have to breach through this wall, most likely to be reinforced, so with that wall, but just breach through this one. And then breach the brewery wall, and then do the common plant spots. You can have uh, someone to breach above to flush out the anchors and whatnot. And the main fight is to be between people over here in fermentation. So you got main stairs over here, blue stairs over here. But yeah, that's it for the main push and the site preview. So let's get into operator recommendations. Going with the operator recommendations, I really like Sledge because for the most part, the ceiling and brewery is destructible. So you'll take out the anchors in there or flush them out at least, open up the hatch for a quick, easy drop and take them out. So Sledge is really good for this objective. For a hard breacher, I like Thermite because we need to get through the barrel storage wall and the brewery wall, which Habana can only get through one wall for the most part. So that's our second pick. Our third pick, we're going to need a rusher to go through that west tunnel, that back tunnel for the flank. So that could be your Ash or Ying. They're probably the best flank rushers ops in the game. So for our fourth and fifth pick, they're really optional. Um, I like Glass to provide a cover while you're planting the bomb down. So he's good. Then you might want to take someone else with smokes. So Doki or Jackal, they're pretty solid as well. But if you don't want to take Glass, you can just take some more fragging ops. I like Zofia, solid. You don't really need a Thatcher because Sledge can take out any batteries and jammers and thermites away. But IQ solid. Um, Echo is pretty popular. Legion is really popular. It's the second most picked defender, so IQ is definitely not bad. But yeah, there's a solid ops that you can take. So I'm going to take Sledge and let's get right into the attacker walkthrough. All right, now we're going to go through the attacker walkthrough and we're going to split up into three groups. So Sledge is going to go by himself from first floor to Sledge from above. Ash or Ying, let's say Ash, she's going to be flanking on the back west tunnel. And then the other three operators will be together. So let's say Thermite, Glass, and Doki. So they're going to be pushing together. We're going to get through this barrel, so barrel storage wall. Thermite will beach it then... Glass and Doki can clear if they need to. First, use Doki smoke. So, if someone in here, use Doki smoke to take out anyone in here. Then, we're going to open up barrel storage wall. And Thermite is going to be one who plants. So, right there, most likely, unless Sledge can take out the anchors in here pretty fast, pretty soon. Then, he can plant right here, which is, I think, a bit better. So, while Thermite's going for the the plant. Most likely this wall is going to be open if the defenders know what they're doing. This wall is going to be open. So then Glaz is going to be covering Thermai while he goes for the plant so he can throw a smoke over here to cover the door in the wall and another smoke to cover that door. So then Glaz will be providing cover while Thermai plants. And then Doki, uh, she'll make phone calls whenever if Sledge feels like he's being pressured or it's just time to make a call to stop the flank then Doki can make a call and then she'll be watching 
this door. This is like the only way they can get flank. There's no hatches, and then they can make an impact on the workshop wall, but Doki can handle that. So yeah, Doki would be right here. So that's mainly it for our three ops. Let's go on to the flank with Ash. So Ash will probably spawn control, control tower over here on the west side. Control tower. Push through here. And she'll get an easy flank. Obviously, you want your best frag on Ash. Um, definitely catch them off guard. So an AFK or something still reinforcing. Get an easy kill. And after that, she can just do whatever. Just let her run rampant. Just try to get let her get kills. So then get the easy vantage, whether it be uh, four four v three at the start or whatever, or take out a key operator, make it a four v four in your advantage. So that's Ash's job. All right, let's get on to Sledge's job. So Sledge is going to be coming from the firing range spawn, pushing from the north first floor. So let's go over here. So firing range spawn over there. Push through here. So let's say Thermite needs help getting through the barrels, barrel storage wall. There's a jammer or battery. Reach up here, take out that battery. Oh, let's say there's a defender in barrel storage. Most likely they're going to be using these barrels as cover here on the back side so you can take him out from there or if they're hiding in the little compartment closet right there so right before they reach the barrel or yeah barrel brewery wall there we go throw a toss a grenade through here so we have that now let's say we have that cleared and they need help getting through the brewery wall the batteries and jammers they can take it out right here. Almost right there. So yeah, that's for that wall. Now we need to take out the anchors. So start sledging. So I'm gonna try to be efficient as possible because here in my custom game, I don't have any roamers to worry about. I'm like in a real game. Which is nice to have Doki because that'll let Sledge know if someone's coming to flank. So right here. Do a better job. Actually, yeah, you wanna you wanna not line up with the hatch. You kind of wanna go in front of it right now. All right, so there is the bomb. Actually, a lot of times people will be hiding behind this little half brick wall, so you definitely take them out. Maybe someone's hiding behind those sandbags. You can take them out. You can see the hallway door. Let's get a better view. Hallway door right here, and then the other door right there. So. Sledge can definitely provide some cover. And after that, say you get the bomb plant down. Obviously, you would have some sledgehammer ammo. I don't want to waste it at all. But you'll be able to get through here, down blue stairs, for a good flank in the final seconds. So, honestly, that's it for the push. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you want more Dave, please subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time.